Hello my croutons, and welcome to Project Cat. Project Cat is a small, unconventional horror game. Let's get started. The world slowly fades into existence around us. Use the arrow keys to move. So I'm assuming this is some uh, dream space. A tree with pink flowers. Press Z to interact with the environment. I'm going to defy what you tell me to do, and I'm going to press enter to interact with the environment, because I am a rebel. There's a white flower on the ground. Press Z to pick up items. Take flower? Yes. Obtained white flower. Press X to open the menu and see your items. A white flower I found on the grass. It appears to be a lily. I think. Right. Starting off strong with the symbolism. Ah. Oh. The building ahead seems locked somehow. To use an item, stand close and select the item from the menu. While well, we all know what the obvious answer is, but let's explore a little bit first. Some large windows, you can't see what's inside. Hmm. Any secrets? Small building adorned with flowers. It's a very pretty game so far, I love the art style. Hmm. Okay. Obvious answer it is. The flower sank into the water. Oh. Yep, should have saw this coming. That's what happens when you go sticking uh, flowers in other people's vases without their consent. Pity. You thought that would work. You should be more careful about the decisions you make. The solution may seem obvious, but... There is always another way. You may not notice it right away, but your actions will have an impact sooner or later. You may not even remember what you did to cause it. Sadly, regret is always in the shadow of a choice. Also, you know very well this isn't your home. So why do you mess with things that don't belong to you? You are not welcome here. This isn't some silly game. Look, this is the result of your actions, the result of your expectations. Things are not always what they seem. What do you think? Does this still look like a flower to you? Ah, well, very symbolic. You're not prepared to deal with the truth, are you? I can't stop you from coming, but if you're foolish enough to cross my path, I'll kill you myself. Such is the way of our world. Well, I'm really looking forward to that one. Whoa, weird dream. It was all a dream. Is everybody gone already? Looks like it's 11. I should get to it. They just... They just left you here. Alright. A slight intermission before Project Cat returns. What was that scene? It was strange. I assume that was the auto-saving scene. Oh no. You moved it! I didn't, I swear. You know I hate this type of thing. This can't possibly be happening. It's spelled die! Oh my, oh no. Stop joking around, this is serious. Ah, we should not have played this. I told you we were going to be cursed. What was that? Is that a ghost? We summoned a ghost. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. You are making too much noise. Oh, it's just cat. 
What's with the crazy knocking? What was that for? Did that spook you? You're not supposed to be here, you know. I could say the same about you. Why are you here? Actually, say hello to the new member of the Occult Club. I had the wonderful opportunity to meet all the members yesterday. I don't recall seeing you there. You three are not part of the club, are you? That's funny, I didn't pin you of all people as the occult type, Cat. Why not? She literally looks like a creepy bastard. That's because I'm not. Hey, we were doing something here. I'll save you the trouble. All three of you moved it. Huh? The planchette. From your game, you all moved it. There's no ghost in the room. There's a simple scientific explanation. It's called the ideometer effect. Ideometer effect. I'd like to think it's idiot on idiot meter effect. That'd be entertaining. It's not all that different. Oh, and she's she's just going off. All right. In other words, your mysterious answers from beyond are really just your imagination playing tricks on you. Too much info, cat. Their small brains can't handle it. Great job killing the mood. You must be fun at parties. Thanks a lot, cat. Always a pleasure. All right, time to search. I should go over my notes to make sure I don't forget anything. Uh, let's see, ritual notes. Three rooms, 12 candles, a lighter, a rune, a tuft of hair, and some chalk. So the desk in the classroom, turn off all the lights and draw the curtains in each classroom. Draw a path going through the three rooms with chalk. In the middle room, place one candle on each desk, light the candles, and wait at least five minutes. After waiting, burn the tuft of hair on one of the candles, blow out all the candles, close your eyes and count to 100. Open your eyes and then... And then... Profit. Alright, so I need to search the school for the items first. The rune should be in this room. Somewhere. She's really concentrated on fixing her ribbon, best not to disturb her. I bet you think you're so funny. We have other plans for the night anyway. Whatever you say. What are you looking at? Hmm, I would like your hair for my experiment. A cool breeze blows in from outside. Close the window. Um, I'm not inclined to start messing with things I shouldn't be after that opening. A crystal ball resting on a cushion. Wow, that cheap plastic exterior really makes it look authentic. An expensive looking radio. Turn it on. What are you even doing? Just looking around. Yeah, we shouldn't have turned that one on. That was, uh... I didn't, I didn't like that very much. Cardboard boxes marked with a symbol. They're sealed with tape. The news my friend mentioned may be in here, but I need a way to open it. Just get... Just get some muscle and rip it open. Suspicious news articles and posters representing magic circles. There's a book entitled The Truth Behind Mermaids Exposed. Oh, good clickbait. I might have to steal that. Right, let's see. There's some chalk here. Take chalk? Of course. Draw something on the chalkboard? Uh, no, not yet. Oh, oops. <laughs> a butt. All right, we'll come back. That's very, very humorous. Can I save from the menu? Unfortunately, there is only auto saving. Uh, wait, no, that's not what I want to do. There we go. All right. Ah. Immediately spooky. It reads, no running in the hallways. While moving, hold shift to run. Ah, thank you for teaching me how to run. Immediately after telling me not to run. The windows of the classroom. I can't see much through them. Hmm. Alright, let's see. According to my notes, I need to move the desks to the sides in all three classrooms. Then I can draw a path in the middle of each one with chalk. Well, I'll leave the chalk drawing for last. I want to gather everything I need first. Should I sort the desk in this classroom now? Yeah. Why wouldn't I? Push the desk into the green zone to complete the puzzle. Ah, okay. Shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, that's pretty straightforward puzzle solving. Yep. That was easy. Yeah, it really was. Good observation. Anything I can steal? Oh, I need to close these. That's right. Some classroom attendance sheets and schedules. Some boring textbooks. Shelves with students' place their school bags. There are no bags right now, though. 
There's some scissors on top of there. Can I get that? Some geometry books. I want the scissors. There's a pair of scissors here. Yes, let me uh, let me take those. Thank you. I can go get the runes now. Anything over here? Some very thick school-related school books. Mmm. Mmm. Thick. Thick school books. Just like my thick teacher. Let's take the chalk. Take the extra chalk. We'll get a little party going. Teacher's podium. A clean chalkboard. I'm gonna draw a butt on this chalkboard. That'll be funny. Just take all the chalk. Alright. Simple trash can. It contains trash. Good observation. Pin board with some important school papers. Talking is not something I excel at. Should I sort the desks in this classroom now? Yeah, so let's get started. Uh, they're already in an occult ritual circle. I don't even have to do anything. Hmm. If I push it against the wall, I'm screwed. Alright, we can do that. Uh, there we go. Okay, and from here, it should be pretty... Oh. Uh... Yeah. Straight forward. And easy. And just like that. Ooh, don't do that though. There we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. There we go. Hog Zombie would love this game. He loves uh, pushing puzzles. Box pushing puzzles. Oh no, we don't have any curtains. According to the ritual instructions, I need to block out all the rooms. But where will I find new curtains? A good question indeed. A happy green plant. Well, that plant's happier than me. Some books and chalk. Oh, yeah. Gotta get all the chalk, naturally. Some very thick school. Oh, we've got thick people in every room. Teacher's podium. There's a useless history book as well. Who needs history, am I right? All my friends hate history. Some broken chalk, of course. Well, you want all the chalk. Anything over here? Geography textbook. And textbooks I don't care about. Very rude of you, cat. A pin board with some important school papers. Hmm. Should I sort the desk in this classroom now? Let's do this. Uh, mm. This one requires slightly more brain power. Oh shit, no, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, it's fine. Alright, no worries, no panic, no panic. All is well, all is well, indeed. All is well, all is well, all is well. We are fine. Phew. It must be a workout for your skinny arms. If you can't rip a box open with uh, with your hands, then pushing these tables must be very difficult. I really need all this chalk. Of course you do. It's going to give us the uh, alternate ending for the game, the, the chalk ending. Geography book and a globe sit atop it. Is there any chalk here? What? No. Rude. Trash can, as it's usually the case with trash cans, is devoid of useful items. Well, I mean, sometimes people... Yeah, we'll not finish that joke. Alright. Classroom attendance sheets and schedules. Boring textbooks. I would definitely steal one of these if they weren't so darn heavy. Darn heavy. A good uh, censoring developer. Shelves for students to place their school bags. Alright, let me check my list. I think I haven't drawn the curtains. And I've sorted all the desks, though. So I wish that there would be like a like a cross out on there so I can remember that. But you know what? I'm a smart boy. I'll figure it out. All right. Um, okay. We got we to gotta find a curtain. A boring trash can. I'm just waiting for something to pop out of the darkness and eat my face. Theater room, or a theater club's room. It's locked. Maybe able to find some curtains in there. Wonder if any of the girls is a member of this club. This leads downstairs and outside the school. I should be able to find everything I need on this floor, and I need to go downstairs. All right. 
Just looking outside all the windows because I feel like there's going to be a spooky man out there, but I'm not. I mean... Alright. Yeah, we're safe. We're fine. Say, are any of you members of the theater club? Not really. Not really. I was going to say, we come in here and we don't cut the hair until we get a key, but doing it for us. Not me. Who wants to know? Well, there's a talent agent waiting outside. He's only interested in teenage girls with a passion for role-playing, though. What is it that you want? I just need to borrow something from your club room. You have the key with you, don't you? Hmm. Fine, you can have it. If you can do me a favor first. I'll do you a favor. I'll conveniently forget to tell the principal that you three broke into the school at night. Deal? Didn't you break in too, Cat? Aren't you trespassing too? Yeah, thank you. So what's the favor you need? Get my notebook. It's in classroom 3C, under my desk. Should I get the notebook for her? Yeah. Really, you will? If you do find it, please don't look through it. Sure, sure. We're going to be good boys in this playthrough. Good, honest boys who play by the rules. Be kind to their friends. That doesn't happen a lot in these games, so... There's gotta be a creepy man. I'm just... I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. I know it's gonna happen. What is classroom 3C? B, so I'm assuming this one's C. No running in the halls, though. Unless respect to the rules, because we are good boys in this playthrough. Okay, it's under... What was that? Desk? Ah, shit. I should have paid more attention. I've made a grave mistake. There's a red notebook here. Alright, we found it. We're all good, all good. I am not stupid. Paid attention. Okay. Let us go return the notebook to our friend. If I run in the halls, a monster will grab my legs and eat me. Tis how it goes. Hey, I got your notebook. My seat's on the second row in the... Oh, wait, never mind. I have to do this thing. Is this your notebook? Yeah, that's it. I hope you didn't look through it. Nope, your secrets are safe. All right. Here's the key. Bring it back when you're done with it. Thanks. Dude, we're all friends here. I don't know how I'm going to get a tuft of hair without cutting their hair, though, but... Maybe we will get lucky. And there'll be some in the theater room. All right. But I have the key now. Oh wait, I have to. Uh, annoying. There we go. Let me in. Ah, oh, I could use these. A soft red curtain. Draw curtain. Ah. They love me. I'm going to need those though. Sorry. Some blankets are sprawled over the floor. I saw the start of uh, Manly Badass Heroes Let's Play on this, and it said Thief on his board, so the world is affected by our actions in this game, which I think is very, very cool. I'm being a good boy, so I get the good boy things. A rack with various hats and scarves. A large pile of cardboard boxes sealed with tape. Alright, is there any hair in here? Oh, maybe I should have taken... Maybe I should have taken these instead of... Shh. Can I put these back up? Crud. I've made a mistake. I've made a grave mistake in my playthrough. Does there happen to be hair on any of these hats? No? Unfortunate. I'm gonna get killed because I took the curtains. Oh boy, oh boy, I've made a mistake. Oh wait, which classroom? I was at this one? It was indeed. There we go. You should do the trick. There we go. Perfection. Alright. Now what is there to do? Sort of the desks. Wait, turn off all the lights and draw the curtains. Done. Draw a path with the chalk. In the middle, place one candle on each desk. Okay. So we need candles, a rune, and a tuft of hair. All right. Where might there be candles? Might my friends have them? Hello, ladies. Might you have any candles on you? So what are you doing here? Visiting the school at night is hardly normal no matter what you're looking for. I could ask you the same question. 
You already know what we were doing. Keyword, were. Truth is, I'm doing the same thing as you girls, but it's spookier than your game. A game? Can we join in? I thought you had plans for the night. We can probably spare an hour or two. In any case, it's one person ritual, so you can't join me on it. Figures. But I could use your hair, if you're willing to uh, share. Maybe you don't suck as much as I thought. Aw, sweet. Finally, let's cut this open. I am going to need to steal this rune, though, so... There's a bunch of useless trash in here. Ah, this little box may be it. There's three runes, but the ritual didn't mention a specific one. Ooh. The fate of the universe lies in my decision. I was going to say these correspond to the rune numbers, but then there's a weird O, so I'm guessing we take the weird O. Protective rune. Can I put them back if I want to change my choice, or is that not a option? Nope. Okay. How did I- I'm- I've been a good boy this year. Alright, we've got a rune. We've got to find candles. We haven't gone down this hallway yet. It's locked. Unfortunate. This room is- what is this room anyways? I don't think I've ever seen anybody use it. Alright. So, creepy monster hiding in here, my- maybe? Perhaps? Perhaps. Where could there possibly be candles? We take no responsibility for any adverse effects playing this game could cause to you or your loved ones. Such a disappointment, I presume. Truly. Creepy cryptids and where to find them. The truth behind mermaids exposed. Magic circles for simpletons. Right. We gotta dry something good on here. Maybe a flower? For the lily from before. It's done. Yep. It's all very symbolic. This was the most pointless thing you've done today. Maybe not. Maybe not. I have no clue where to possibly find the candles. There's something in my inventory? Oh, a lighter. Oh, I have I have candles. Ah, yes, I am a stupid person. Okay, then we just need a tuft of hair. Oh boy, how are we gonna how are we gonna get a tuft of hair without cutting it off of them? If you like this kind of occult stuff, why aren't you in the club? Only nerds join this club. That's not entirely false. You didn't bring any other games? Not even a deck of cards? No, not really. We didn't anticipate someone ruining our game. Fair enough. So, how did you get in here? We got a key from someone. I got a key from someone. She got a key from someone. Couldn't you just have joined the club? Why, is that what you did? Join the club just for the key? This conversation isn't going as planned. What were you looking for earlier? Materials for the ritual. Shouldn't you have gathered them ahead of time? No, that's boring. Do you also do your homework ahead of time? I don't know what to say to that. We'll probably have to go home soon. Okay. I think my brain has just started working finally. Well, I need a tuft of hair for the ritual. Yep. Yeah, I'm I'm just uh I'm just very stupid. Here I go, I suppose. Yeah, I'm just cut my own hair. I never want to do that again. Well, I mean it didn't really make a, a change in you. You look fine, so. No other dialogue here? Maybe you don't suck as much as I thought. Oh wait, I have to give you the I have to give you this back, right? Are you done with it? Yeah, thanks. Surprised you even give it back, maybe I misjudged you. Anything else I need to give back to them? Uh I should go put the scissors back in that room, maybe. I don't know if that's something I need to do. I don't remember where they were. I think they were here. Let's see if I can put them back. Return scissors? Ah, I can. See, I'm a good guy. I'm a good, wholesome, friendly man. The only mistake I made was accidentally stealing the curtains, so now I'm not going to get the good ending, which is unfortunate. But, oh well. Okay. Um. Looks like we can start the ritual then. I'm not sure... I think it was the middle classroom I need to start the ritual in. So that would be... Oh, what? That was a man. 
there I knew there was a man I knew there was gonna be a man outside. Yeah, that's right. Better leave me alone. I'm not uh I'm not of legal age, so you gotta you gotta feck off. Okay. Ritual nut, let's see. In the middle room, place one candle on each desk. Do I have to go through every single can desk and do the candles? Thank God, okay. Nope, no, no! All my lines are perfect, we should do the job. I need to do this in all three rooms. Now, ah, whatever, it doesn't really matter, I guess. I'm just not very good at clicking. Alright, so we'll leave those like that. The music has stopped. And I am now scared. Two down, one to go. And this is where I get my head cut off. Oh wait, I walked past it. I'm a little bit slow. And there we go. And now we just... Oh, fuck. The window is cracked. That spooked me. Yeah, good job with the jump scares game. Lighter. Now this just got spooky. This reminds me of Corpse Party. And there we go. Everything's ready. All that's left is to wait five minutes and then burn the hair. This is going to be such a pain to clean up. If you ever even have to clean it up. I was going to say something funny there, but unfortunately I'm a little bit stupid. Seriously, stop messing with my things. But everything I mess with ends up being a scam. What if someday it isn't? What if you end up summoning some ghost or the devil and condemning your soul to an eternity in the netherworld? Yeah, I don't get that. Why not do a ritual that gives you, like, a lot of money or eternal happiness? I don't, why do the bad ones? What if your soul's already damned? Then I guess that's what's waiting for me after I die. Cat! It was a joke. You're not gonna find him this way, you know? Him? Who's him? Lucifer. This cat have a have a devil kink. You'll just do whatever you want, no matter what I say, won't you? Do whatever you want. It's possible. Stubborn idiot. I prefer ambitious idiot. So, will you tell me where the letter is? You exhaust me, cat. You know that. And yet here we are. Fine, you win. It's in the occult club. There's a golden envelope in one of the drawers, but they won't let you sniff around since you're not a member. Thanks. You're the best. Do I have- Oh. Oh. It's a demon. He's here. Huh? There's somebody at the door? Please don't eat me. Okay. Uh, letter in the occult- Oh, now the window's broken again. Up, oh, And that was a man. Wonderful. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um. Alright. There's a golden envelope in the drawer. These are the instructions for the ritual I'm doing. Thankfully, I shortened them when I wrote my notes. Read the full ritual rules? Yes. You must play alone. Requirements. Three dark adjacent rooms, twelve candles, a lighter or matches, a rune, a tuft of human hair, white chalk or white paint. Preparations. Start after the sun is set. All three rooms must be pitch black. Turn off all the lights, draw the curtains, and close the doors. Using the chalk or paint, draw a path along, going along through the rooms. I'm very bad at reading. This path will serve to connect your current location to your destination. In the middle room, place six candles on each side of the drawn par path parallel to it. Instructions. Light each of the candles and let them burn for at least five minutes. From this point, you can no longer abort the ritual. After the five minutes have passed, burn the tuft of hair on one of the candles. Proceed to blow out all the candles one by one. When the last candle is put out, quickly close your eyes and count to 100. Open your eyes to remember. You must always close the door behind you, leaving an open may attract unwanted attention. Do not let the rune out of your possession. It is your only protection. Do not bring any weapons with you. If you arm yourself, so will they. This is why we leave the scissors here. Should anything be heard or felt while you count 100, it must be ignored. Do not open your eyes. Do not turn on the lights. Do not move. It is normal to feel like you are not alone. You won't be. 
All right. So I think the game auto closes the door, or at least I hope that stop it. I hope the game auto closes the door. Reality is shattering around me. I'm not sure how to close it. I'm going to just assume that the door is closed. Um, burn the tuft of hair. Um, how do I burn the tuft of hair? Burn the tuft of hair. Oh, on one of the candles. Um, I'm very slow. Wait. Burn the tuft in the candle. Okay. Let's do this. And now we die. Alright, now I just have to blow the candles off, so let's... Oh, thank you. That's so kind of you, stranger. Oh, the candles. Did they just... Close your eyes, cat. I guess I should count to 100. One, two, three, four, five. 28, 29, 30. Why am I doing this? This ridiculous game couldn't possibly work. 55, 56, 57, 58. I wonder if mom is worried about me. Stop skipping numbers, cat. That's cheating. Huh? What was that? I couldn't hear. I was making fun of you. 79, 80, 81. What's all that noise? Is anyone there? 97, 98, 99. 100. So I open my eyes. Ah, oh, shit. They turned us into a side-scroller. Cat, you've been two-dimensionalized. It worked? It worked? It worked! I can't believe it! This is incredible! But where am I? It's a hallway. It definitely isn't the school. This is unbelievable. How could it have worked? It doesn't make any logical sense. I was in the classroom a minute ago. Have I gone mad? This is so exciting. I can't believe it worked. If I wake up from this and it turns out to be a dream, well, that would be disappointing to say the least. Okay, I definitely need to check this place out. And check this place out, we will do indeed. Next time on Project Cat.